Helium Diffusion Sampling Personal Monitors are small, wearable sampling devices that simplify testing for volatile organic compounds in ambient and indoor air. Use this short video as a guide to help you sample using an HDS personal monitor. Sampling may vary depending on the project. This video is a general guide. Contact your ALS project manager if you have any questions about your particular project. The size of the HDS personal monitor makes it more convenient to carry than a SUMA canister and is extremely reliable, providing detection limits five to seven times lower than organic passive badges or charcoal-based sorbent tubes. Sample collection times using the HDS monitor include grab or instant, 15 minutes, four hours, and eight hours. Based on breakthrough helium diffusion technology, Samples are collected by creating a partial vacuum that actively pulls in the ambient air as helium escapes. Prior to sampling in the field, confirm that each HDS sampler has positive helium pressure. Using the enclosed pressure gauge, insert it using the quick connect on the top of the HDS microvalve. The pressure reading should be between 3 to 10 PSI of helium. Measure and record the pressure on the chain of custody form at the time of sampling as proof of sampler integrity. The pressure gauge can be used to verify additional HDS samplers. The pressure reading will fluctuate as you attach it to each additional HDS sampler. To begin sampling, place the HDS personal monitor in an ALS provided lanyard near your breathing zone and twist off the removable top of the microvalve. Save the cap in the side pocket of the lanyard or in the original shipping container for later use. Once the sampling event has ended, stop the sampling process by simply replacing the removable top of the microvalve. Record the duration of the sampling event on the chain of custody form. Send the HDS personal monitor, the pressure gauge, and the completed chain of custody form to the laboratory for analysis. For additional information, please visit www.alsglobal.com or contact your ALS project manager.